Well, hello everyone, I'm Sean Cheek and welcome to my Easy Piano Lessons. You can email me at easypianolessons at yahoo.com if you have any uh, requests that you'd like to hire me to do or any questions about the website, uh, which is www.webpianoteacher.com. I'm also on Facebook. <clears throat> if you want to look me up on there, I've got some videos on there and some, some printouts of the whiteboard. Uh, just do a search for Sean Cheek or Web Piano Teacher or Piano Lessons. I'm also on MySpace. Uh, if you just uh, type in myspace.com backslash web piano teacher, uh, you can find me on there as well. Um, we're doing Hello by Evanescence here today, and uh, we have the part one right here, and the, the rest of the song uh, will only be on the website at uh, www.webpianoteacher.com. So uh, those of you who are members, you can uh, get on there right now and check it out. Uh, here's part one, and... Uh, I'm going to add a few notes because when you're playing it just by yourself uh, without any other instruments, it kind of helps it fill in a little better. So I'm going to show you how to put some more left hand notes in there. But let's go ahead and learn uh, this beginning part. The right and left hand are very connected rhythmically in this. So you're going to have to go back and forth. And you really need to accent your right hand. Uh, if you have a keyboard or a piano that is touch sensitive, and you really want one if you don't have one, uh, where you can play one note louder than another one. Uh, you want to really bring out that right hand note, and that's why I put these little tenuto marks here because we want to bring out those right hand notes and continue that because the melody in the in the piano part is bum 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 bum, and then <clears throat> so you want to bring that out. And the left hand you can accent maybe the bass note, the very first low note, and then and then this F sharp right here is just kind of to fill in the rhythm in between, so not too loud on the left hand. So we're going to start with a B way down here, and then we're going to, uh, with a pinky, and then we're going to go to F sharp. Now here's F sharp, this black one right here on the left side of three blacks, okay? And then after that, we're going to play a D in the right hand, right here, to bring it out, okay? A little bit more pressure on that note, and then we're going to play that F sharp in the left hand here, softly, and then we're going to play that right hand D again, and then we're going to do... Uh, a C sharp here in the right hand, and then an F sharp here in the left hand, and then a C sharp in the right hand, and then A, A, two A's, and then back up to C sharp. Now, this is all I hear when she's doing it. There's not really much left, left hand in there, but if you wanted to put this F sharp in between every note like this, put an F sharp here, and then... Kind of the way I would do it if I was. Just play it really soft because I wrote what, what I hear because I want you guys to have you know what I hear on the recording, uh, the soundtrack. But I really like some more F sharps in there, and you could even put some octaves in there if you'd like, uh, and play it you know play it up an octave here and just do the same right hand notes and. Okay, so I'm doing two Ds. And then two, you know, two C sharps, two C sharps, A, A, and you can do it here too. You wanted to fill it out. Uh, but anyway, this first little section has a lot of left, right, left, right. Right, left, right, left, right, left, right, left, right, left, right, left, right, left. So if you wanted to put an F sharp, I would recommend that uh, in the left hand between every note there. Now, continuing on. the melody. We hear that left hand start right here. Bum, bum, bum. All right. Uh, the left hand is going to have A and then up to an E and then up to an A on the thumb and then back down to an E in the middle. Now, if you're not somebody who plays the piano a lot, you want to make sure you get your hand in position for this whole octave and a fifth thing. The octave means there's two A's and the fifth means there's a fifth in between the octave here. All right, get your hand in position before you start it. Don't just start and then, okay, here, okay, here. Go ahead and get your hand ready. And then A, E, A, E. And then you're just going to continue with the E here, right there. All right, now the rhythm is a little bit different here. We have. All right, so what we're going to do, I'm going to put a little line here. Because we're going to hold those E's out a little bit longer. 
for the rhythm, we have bum, 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 bum. Hear how I held that E out in that one? All right, so starting here. Okay, um, <clears throat> and while, we're, while I got the marker out here, let me go ahead and put little lines here down where you can put notes in between those F sharps. Okay, so everywhere I put a little hash mark there, you can play that F sharp again. So you have there, there, there F sharp, F sharp. Okay, so you'll know where to play it. Uh, but starting here again, we're going to play just a straight eighth note rhythm. And then when we get here to this E, we're going to hold it for a quarter note and then hold this one for a quarter note as well. So starting here, the rhythm is bum, 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 bum. You could actually play it with one hand. And then I forgot to mention we repeat that. See the repeat sign? Every time you do this riff, you're going to do this part two times. So repeat back and do this again. Then we go here. Here how I bring out the top note. Okay, so that's pretty much it for the opening. Part two contains the rest of the song. Uh, <clears throat> I do it in uh, four lines on the next board so you get all, all the rest of the piano part on that song in part two on the website. But, uh, and the only other thing is, is pedal. <clears throat> when you're pedaling, uh, basically want to change the pedal. A good rule of thumb is whenever the bass note changes. The bass note means the lowest note in a group. So if you're on a, a B minor chord, which we are here, get away with not pedaling all of that if you play the right hand loud enough. Uh, you might want to pedal a little bit here on these right hand notes so they blur a little bit. Okay? And then the bass note changes here to an A. Definitely want to change the pedal there. Lift up the damper pedal, put it back down. Okay? And uh, so we're doing this two times. Okay, so I hope you guys enjoyed and I'll talk to you later.